Hello, I'm Paul DeWinner with AEA Technology, and today we're going to be talking about the 2020 TDR. In this segment, we'll be testing twisted pair cable with the same 2020 TDR we used on coax. This is the advantage of having a step TDR, is it does not have to be impedance matched to the cable you're using. It will measure almost any cable impedance uh, from 0 to 1,000 ohms. The connector on the top we're using right now is the RJ45 that's installed with the cable plugged directly in. There are other ways in which it can be connected. One is using the uh, telco leads which are supplied with RJ45 units. Have an RJ45 plug on one end and two sets of clips on the other with uh, telco clips for getting on 66 block. A third way you can connect twisted pair to the TDR if you only have a coax port or you want to use the coax port is by using the lead that we supply uh, with alligator clips and this will allow you to connect to a single uh, twisted pair cable. The next step is pressing the F4 key to select the uh, input channel. The cursor is at the bottom and we can select any of the channels, four channels in an RJ45 connector. Right now we've selected on channel A which is the center pair. Pressing the F5 key we want to select the correct uh, cable type by entering on view the user list with the right arrow key. And in the top of the list, slot 0, I've pre-selected a, uh, a uh, cat category 3 24 gauge uh, twisted pair cable. It's 100 ohm with a velocity of 67. We'll press enter twice to accept that. It will calibrate to the cable and to the length. And when the view comes up, you'll notice that the cursor is at 17 feet 4 inches. There is a defect in the cable there, and it's actually uh, what's called a split pair. The cable has had one white wire crossed with the other wire from another pair, and it's causing an uh, impedance deviation. But that's not the electrical end of the cable. If you notice, by pressing the cursor, we can go further out, and the electrical end of the cable is actually all the way out here at 36 feet, 8 inches.